What's cracking people? Luis here from Green Zebra Gardening. This video is going to be a little different. I'm actually going to see if I can take you shopping with me to Daiso. I will show you the sign here in a second. But I'm here to pick up some garden stakes. I need some real thick ones and then I need some thinner ones. They're five foot I think. And then the thicker ones are six and seven foot. I don't know what they're gonna have, of course, until I actually get in there to see what they have. Uh, I am about two minutes early before they close. I've been sitting here for a few minutes, but I figured I was in the area I was gonna stop by and I needed, a, I've been meaning to anyway. So this is, this is what I use for my trellising for my tomatoes and I used them last year for peas. And I've also used them for, you know, the small varieties of cantaloupes and watermelons. So, once I get in there, I'm going to see if I can do some shooting. Um, it's called Daiso Japan. I will pan, I will pan up here in a second to show you. Uh, yes, this is my car, obviously. And I do have a car seat there. And I have one directly behind me, which you can't see. But let me go ahead and show you that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm getting. Worst case scenario, I will show you what I got once I get home. And I'm going to try and see what else we can uh, shoot in there, film in there with the uh, garden section. Because they do have a decent garden section. And everything here, last I was here, was $1.25 or $1.50. Uh, but now I'm looking at the signs and it looked like they cost a little more. But even at a couple bucks a per pole. Uh, it's so cheaper than going to the big box stores. So let's see what I can find here in a few minutes And uh, I'm gonna show you the shot of the sign here. I don't know if these stores are everywhere I know we have them in Southern California. I've got at least three near me this one uh, One down by the traffic circle in Long Beach and then there's another one out in Torrance um, Or Gardena somewhere in that area. So uh, here we go
All right, so I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video, but I think I'm not gonna have an issue including in or that I included in the walk through the store. Uh, I gave you a little bit of a, I guess, preview of it this year. They do have some cool stuff in there. It's just not what I expected. The row cover was cool. If I included that, if I didn't include that in there, there is a row cover, there's shade cloth, there's some basic hand tools, nothing major. Uh, there was some seed storing supplies, but um, the cups themselves just seem really cheap and I don't know. I don't know if you plant those entirely or if you take them out and then pot them up. But at any rate, I am off. I'm gonna go drop, I got a couple more stops on the way home and then I'm gonna show you what I actually bought and you know, just give you a haul of everything. Everything was about $42 and change. So it wasn't a whole lot, um, but let's go. All right guys, so we made it home later than what I thought I was going to. I had a few pit stops on the way. Anyway, so I'm going to show you real quick what I got. It's nothing major. It is more of the green stakes that you guys have seen in, on my channel. Um, I will go ahead and use some sea bites to attach the smaller ones. If you don't know what those are, go down to the links below for Thriving Design. Code Green Zebra will get you free shipping. But let me go ahead and show you real quick. Let's turn you around. All right, so then this is gonna be the shorter one. This is what those sea bites are gonna be attached to. It wraps around. These are the five foot stakes. These are a little thinner. So these are the ones that are probably gonna go across and attach to these thicker guys. These guys are the six foot, six foot ones. And so then these will be my main stakes to basically build the wall. These will go across and then these will probably use in the small with the smaller plants. If I have any leftover, maybe with some peppers or some um, eggplants, just to kind of hold it up. Although my peppers and eggplants usually don't have an issue and they can pretty much send on their own. So they do some in packs. I will go ahead and link uh, Daiso down below. And I don't know if they, like I said before, I don't know if they're local or if it's, I mean, they're Japanese, so obviously they're not local, but I don't know where else they may have locations in the States. So that's it for now. All right, guys, so this video is a little different because everything is handheld. I don't have my uh, tripod. I mean, I have it. I just don't have it on me. And I figured I may as well just finish it instead of trying to find a tripod. Anyways, the Gorilla Pod. That is it for this uh, video. Go ahead and hit the bell notification. Hit the subscribe button. And go ahead and leave us a comment or whatever down below. Letting us know what you guys use to trellis your plants, your tomatoes, your peppers, your eggplants, and whatnot. Because those little round ones, those little round uh, metal ones, really don't do much for the uh, taller plants like the tomatoes. Um, these, I can go ahead and build whatever structure I want, whatever size and whatnot, and then that way I can, you know, create my own. The only uh, thing stopping me is my imagination. At any rate, catch you guys later. Peace.